the Crater Yellowstone ecosystem is one of the most iconic and well-protected wild places in the world. It is a large area made up of two national parks and various national forests and refuges. It is home to majestic species like bison, eagles, bears, and wolves. But even here, unlikely invaders have moved in. Tropical fish. In Grand Teton National Park, there is a place called Kelly Warm Springs. Below its surface is a world of minnows, live bearers, and cichlids. As a young child, I spent many hours trying to catch fish here. Recently though, brain-eating amoeba have been detected in these waters, and wading and swimming are no longer safe. At some point, guppies, swordtails, convict cichlids, and several other species were introduced into these waters. Over the years, the live bearers have reverted to their wild-type phenotypes, which are still rather pretty. Groups of convict cichlids swim around, many curious about my GoPro. Personality is why many people keep cichlids. They also breed rapidly, which helps them survive in this ecosystem. I started keeping fish long after I first visited this spot, and it serves as an example of why you should never release aquarium fish or any pet into the wild. Although most of these fish species are contained to the spring because they need warm temperatures, they have pushed native species downstream, and some of the invaders, like bullfrogs and goldfish, can survive in colder waters, threatening the Snake River. I enjoy the aquarium hobby, and things like this gives a bad name to aquarists. The park has been contemplating eradicating all of these tropical fish, but haven't done anything yet. If you are new to my channel, subscribe. Maybe check out another one of my videos.